a month without uploading, she comes back with no good content. Hi guys! So I'm finally taking a break from watching Arrested Development and doing nothing else with my life to bring you a video about my childhood. I was an interesting child and because of that I have quite a few stories. I'm just going to tell you some things about my personality as a kid. So uh, let's jump straight into it. I was in a cult. Now, you may be thinking, what type of cult can a five-year-old get themselves into? I was in one. I'm just gonna shift the blame automatically to my best friend's older sister. It was her fault. She was the leader of this cult. And me and my best friend at our vulnerable five or six-year-old age were in it. My childhood best friend's older sister convinced us that we could communicate with the tooth fairy. We were kids, just don't, don't blame us. We believed her, and my best friend had already believed her on this, so I jumped straight in. Why not? Loved them. Why wouldn't I join their cult? I didn't know it was a cult, but looking back, it was a cult. So, um, I went with it, and I'm gonna give them fake names so I can refer to them both. So let's call the older sister Anne, and my best friend L. So Anne and L, okay? So I went in to a dark closet with Anne and L, and Anne placed a lava lamp into the middle of the room. It was a walk-in closet, so we fit in there very comfortably. Into the middle of the room, and uh, we sat down in a circle around it, and we held hands while Anne claimed to be communicating with the Tooth Fairy. I believed every word of it. I was such a vulnerable, innocent child. Why did my parents let me out of the house? ever. Unlike a lot of children, at a very young age I learned about death. Blame my mother. She had no concern for, you know, innocence and being too young for things. So from the age of two, I watched Bones with her. If it was a show about forensic anthropology or cops and it had a dead body in it, I watched it. It was just, it, she watched it, and so this is what I watched with her. That has led me to have no issue with gore or dead bodies whatsoever. I am very specific with what makes me squeamish, but that also made me a bit of a concerning little kid. So on top of watching shows about dead people, I also, as a child, kinda had my own computer. Now you're thinking, who gives a four-year-old a laptop? My parents did. It had child safety features on it, so it was okay, but I liked to play computer games, and I played some online ones like on Nickelodeon Junior and things. NickJr.com had the best games. If you played on them back in the day, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> the Diego game was fun, it was the only one that was like in a 3D platform, very cool. I played a lot of video games. Mainly, I played The Sims 2 and Zoo Tycoon 1 and 2. Now, <laughs> here's the fun bits. Now, of course, Zoo Tycoon, I had to have a little bit of help. I couldn't read yet for some parts of the game, but I did actually learn how to read because of that. <laughs> Education. I also learned a lot about animals, but I loved animals, so that was cool. Still love animals. Parts of it were normal. I was just controlling a zoo and building places and for animals to live. But then there was the um the weird childhood part of it. I used to murder people. In the original Zoo Tycoon, if you deleted part of the fence or part of a fence broke in the game, where you managed to get someone into an enclosure with an animal, that animal, if they were aggressive, would attack. 
So, <laughs> frequently, I would have so much fun locking someone in an enclosure with a lion and deleting the lion's food and then letting the lion murder the visitor. And then sometimes I would get a whole bunch of aggressive animals and I would just delete all the fences and close the zoo gates so nobody could leave and let all the animals destroy all of the visitors and people. I had no concept of what I was doing. I wasn't actively thinking, I want people to die. I was actively thinking, murder is fun. So, I don't know what that says about me or what issues that has led to today, but I used to murder people in my spare time at age four. I also, from the ages of about five to seven, was kinda in this polyamorous relationship Yes, I was in a cult, murdered people, and in a three-way relationship, which sounds bad. But let me explain. So, I had my best friend, L, and then I also was friends with this boy, who I will call... Jim. Jim was a day younger than me, and L was exactly two months older than me. So, we all were very close in age. Now, I knew them for separate reasons. As a child, my mom kind of ran a daycare in our house, and Jim was the older sibling of a little girl we used to babysit every few days. And Elle was my friend who lived one house down from me half the time because her parents were divorced. So, I would go over to her house and play, or she would come to mine, and Jim would come sometimes and play at my house while we babysat him and his sister. So Jim used to claim he was in love with me and he wanted to marry me and he was very, very convinced he would. And I, I told him at age six, okay, I'll marry you when we grow up, but I get to be a dancer and you will raise our kids. I also at that time was in dance and I did ballet, tap and jazz. So I was very into that and I took it very, very seriously. And then also, at the same time, Jim, who was in love with me and convinced he was going to marry me, also had Elle as his girlfriend. So they were kind of dating in the little four, five, six, seven year old way. I think it was more like in the little five, six, seven year old way. And I was his uh, kind of fiance. We were this weird polyamorous couple sort of, not even couple, trio. We were a triage. And the only thing was, I would be the third wheel. So if they were together, they would play together and ignore me. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I had a very interesting time feeling left out in my own home every so often. I don't like to talk about it. Jim, why did you have to ignore me? So looking back, I'm thinking, wow, I was really, really strange and kind of concerning as a child. I don't know how that would have worked out. See, I was already first in line to be married by Jim, married to Jim. So I think that would have made me the superior to Elle because I was the first wife. But that, or he, she was the side chick, I can't decide. But uh, yeah, now I want to hear your weird childhood stories because I want to know if you can top me. Honestly, probably you can. Kids are strange. But leave your stories down in the comments. And of course I need to give credit to Amazing Phil for being my inspiration for this video. Alright guys, so hit that notification bell. Also hit subscribe while you're at it. Do both please. Give this video a like, leave me a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!